Hello, my name's Ronnie Biggs. I don't know if you know me or heard of me, but uh, I've been around a long time now and I was involved in a great train robbery, if you remember that incident, back in 1963, 30 years ago. There's some of you people who are going to be thinking about buying this book who probably weren't even alive at that time. But it's a historical event and I've written this book now and I've written it with all truth and I'm hoping that it's going to be a really big seller, probably the best seller, probably the book of the year. So get on the act, get into it, and get buying it. You know, it's something special. Well, for the benefit of you people who don't know anything about the Great Train Robbery, I'm here to tell you. Now, it happened way back in 1963, 30 years ago. There's some of you who are probably are not even of that age up until now, so you probably won't know very much about it. Um, but the robbery took place uh, in Buckinghamshire, a place called Cheddington, in the early hours of the 8th of August, 1963. And um, at that time, I was working for myself as a carpenter. I had some hired help. And one weekend, I couldn't pay them, so I telephoned an old friend of mine called Bruce Reynolds uh, to see if I could borrow some money. And he said, well, you know, normally I'd be only too ready to lend you some money, but right now my dough is tied up in some business, something I would like to talk to you about. Do you think I could come and see you on the weekend? It's my home, I provide barbecue for tourists. I get a lot of people wanting to come and visit me so I make a charge for them to come and see me they take photographs and I, I give them autographs uh, I'm involved in in various ways with with uh, writing lyrics for, for, for punk songs starting with the Sex Pistols I went from the Sex Pistols to a German group called Die Totenhausen an Argentine group I've written lyrics Dearest Madonna was my latest and uh, one of the pieces that I wrote for this, this uh, Argentine group and I've been involved in, in uh, advertising and also uh, making documentary movies and things of that nature. Thank God there's always something happening and there is always a way to arrange enough money to pay my rent, as you put it. Is there, is there a woman in your life at the moment? Are you romantically attached? There's been a woman in my life for a long time now. She's an Argentine lady by the name of Ula Sofa. Uh, we don't live together, we, we live separately, but we, we are lovers, if that's the word. And uh, we're, I think we're more companions than we are lovers uh, after all this time. And uh, she and I probably will stay together as long as, as, long as uh, we can. Um, just, uh, you were just talking then about the, the great little compensations there are in Brazil. Um, just taking you back to that uh, theme that you think you've done your time, that you've wiped your slate clean. Um, it seems quite a nice way to, to wipe your slate clean, and perhaps a lot of crooks over here would like it as well. Um, I mean, doing ads, earning money on the back of the train robbery, uh, sunning yourself on the beach and all that kind of thing. Is that really doing time? Is that really making up for what you did? No, but uh, I mean, it, it was my good fortune to sort of fall into this particular way of life, you know. I mean, I had the good luck or, uh, to, to meet Paul Siebel, who got me out of prison and got me uh, to, to the position I'm in today. I mean, I managed to get to first to Australia and then uh, finally to Rio de Janeiro. And I've been here ever since. And the life I lead today is as a result of uh, Paul insisting that I escape from prison because initially when he first put it to me, I was not interested. <laughs> Big bad blitz. Big bad blitzy boy. <laughs> Pull his ears like an American president still. <laughs>
What's the mayor sending you a Christmas card again? Yeah. That's mine. Only four million, only fifty dollars. Goes back in again. Who needs it? <laughs> Hope the postman takes it away.